<laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Regeneration TV. We're back out here at the beach. Rio did something. Uh, we're gonna have a nice worship night. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Alright, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, do whatever. I felt so much anger towards this person. His name's Robert. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get over this. He came to my house, he bought me Starbucks, it didn't work. <laughs> and then like we talked, we still didn't resolve anything, but like I was like, I'm not mad at you. I'm not gonna tell you why I was mad at you. So then we went on with our days, we got like a little better. And then worship night came, we got another fight. We stopped talking, he didn't talk to me at all. I went to go hug him and give me a hug back. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> He's like, all he did was like, okay, good job. Next worship night, you have to be more prepared. I was like, okay. And so then, I think he texted me during the week and we just like talked about it. And then after we forgave each other, I was like, I think forgiveness is going to be a theme that I'm going to do because I know a lot of you guys here have anger towards people that I, I just know about it. You guys can't be fake about it. So I was like reading <laughs> I, was I told Marilyn, I told all of you that this was for you guys because I know some of you guys are angry. So I was like looking through verses. <laughs> I was looking through verses and I came. <laughs> I came upon um, Colossians 3.13 and it says bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. After that, I was like, I have to forgive Robert. Like, I was still mad at him. I was like, I have to forgive him. We still yelled at each other, but we forgave each other. So I feel like tonight, the goal, what I, what I want the goal to like happen, I guess. I want you guys to like forgive each other. I know there's like resentment you guys have towards each other. I don't know what it may be. Like, just forgive because God forgave us. I think that's what the verse said. I don't know. But like, I'm gonna pray, or I'm not gonna pray. We're gonna like, hammer pray. <laughs> To like start the night and then I'm gonna we're gonna sing a couple songs and then have like another talk another talk and then we're gonna sing and then we're gonna end the night. So get ready because you guys are gonna be best friends. <laughs>
Burn the basket, guys. <laughs> no, it has wire! And the conga. After. 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 After what? I don't know. Are you sure? After what? Are you sure? Because if you guys take long, we'll with... just be playing. I agree. Oh, you? You ain't an exam. No, she's gonna talk first. Oh, you guys want to hear me talk first? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm ready. So, how to forgive someone is what I kind of got out from the internet. <laughs> hey, come over here. Stand in the fryer. Not in the fryer. <laughs> by on top the fryer. of it. Oh, you guys make me feel weird though. I'm gonna stand right here. Okay. Okay, so how to forgive somebody? I know this is probably hard for all of you guys, but what I got was like I took notes, so I didn't copy it all the way. So the first thing that I read was remember what forgiveness involves. So you cannot act like it never happened. If something happened, take it in you know it happened it's an argument you guys are mad at each other accept it yeah accept it don't try hiding that you're mad at each other because it's just gonna make it worse so and the segue is recognize the good things of forgiving so let go of the anger that you have in your heart so if somebody wants to go to or matthew 5 9 you guys have to have it right now. Okay. who brings your bibles <laughs> no one has a bible app yeah, yeah. Liz, I don't have it. Liz got it 
Better than fast life. <laughs> okay, I'll read. I've memorized it. 5-9? Yeah, I can read it if you want. You got it? God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. Okay, I'm going to read mine because it's easier. It says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. I don't know what that means, but just, I'm pretty sure. Anybody want to help? Anybody. <laughs> Anybody. <laughs> Helmer, you want to help? <laughs> Samuel? Read it again. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Nothing? I'm passing the rest of the time. Self-explanatory. Hey, you guys got something? Because I don't. It's self-explanatory. Oh, self-explanatory. Oh. What do beginners think? Say. <laughs> <laughs> Google it really quick. Just, if you're a peacemaker, if you make peace with somebody, I guess you're a son of God. So, yeah. if you make peace, you're a son of God. If you don't, you're not a son of God. Yeah, go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Forgiving others is key to receiving God's forgiveness. Wait, no, I read that. So it says, be empathetic. We are not all perfect. So everybody makes mistakes. Everybody's going to make mistakes. Yeah. Everybody's going to have those. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, I just That's said that. That's what I just said. <laughs> Stop it. Some more than others. Had one, two, had <laughs> Yeah, but we are not perfect. So if somebody makes a mistake, don't resent them for, the, for that mistake. It's going to happen again. Just forgive them. Um, another one that I got was be reasonable. Yeah, be reasonable. So like it says in Colossians 3.13, like I read. Um, let me go back to it. Mm. Like Colossians 3.13, it says, Bearing with one another and forgiving one another, if anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. So you guys have to, you guys are not even paying attention. Why? I got So, it says, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. So forgive that person because God forgave you. Because I know all of you guys are sinners. God forgives you guys, so you guys have to forgive that person that did something bad to you. And then the last one that Robert Huck told me about, he, it won't, I have to do is act quick. So instead of letting the anger build up in your heart and making you bitter to anything, forgive them right away to solve the problem instead of making it worse by being angry at them for like the rest of your life. I think that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. So the end of, that's what, what I want to say is, um, just don't stay mad at somebody because they did something dumb or if it's something not important. Forgiving, oh, it's better to have that person in your life than to hate them for the rest of your life for something that's petty or dumb. So I just want to say that I want you guys to forgive. <laughs> just forgive and don't hold any resentment towards anybody. That's all I got, okay? <laughs> <laughs>